So we're going to look at a couple of examples here. Two very similar examples. The only difference, as you can see, is the power of x. Um, now, this first one is pretty similar to the one that we, we just did involving we had x times e to the x. Now we have x times cos x, right, if you watch the introduction video. Very similar idea. So general rule of thumb when you're doing integration by parts. So remember that we need to identify a u. And we need to identify a dv. Right? That's, our, that's kind of our initial job. And so you got, you got decisions to make, right? You've got a product of two functions. You kind of have to figure out which one is going to correspond to your u, which one's going to correspond to your v. But you got to remember that your goal is to come up with something that's simpler than what you started with. So if you have a power function, typically that's your u, right? Any kind of polynomial, that's probably going to be your u, right? Um, trig functions, you know, there's no real advantage, you know, there's no simplification that comes from taking u to be your trig function. Sometimes you can. Um, both trigs and exponentials, right? They just sort of, well, sine, cosine, e to the x, they kind of bounce around. They don't go anywhere. Um, so you don't really get a lot of simplification. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll take that to be our u. We'll take that to be our dv. So let's fill that up. So u is equal to x. That makes du equal to dx. If dv is cos x dx. Well, we know where that must have come from. Cos x dx is the differential of sine. Okay. And so we keep in mind that you know this integration by parts formula basically says this. It says that u dv is u v minus the integral of v du, right? This is coming from the fact that when you take the differential of a product, u times v, right, you get v du plus u dv. And so when you're integrating, well, the integral of this just gives you back uv. The integral of this is over here. And the integral of that is the thing that we want. OK, so we write it all out. This becomes u times v, u times v, x times sine x minus the integral of v du. So v is here, sine x, du is just dx. Okay, All right? And of course, we know, we know how to take the antiderivative for sine. The antiderivative for sine is negative cos. Minus minus cos gives me plus cos. So I get x sine x plus cos x plus our constant. And then we're done. 